Hey everyone, just before we begin, this video is a re-edited upload of a reaction from our previous and now deleted channel, so please check that you subscribe to this new channel here, enjoy the review, and we look forward to seeing you in some new material coming very soon. Hi there and welcome back to Japan where I'm going to be listening to something really interesting that actually I haven't got around to for a long time but I've really wanted to check this one out and this is very much linked to... Ta -da. Now, um, you, you already know what it is because you clicked on the link to begin with but this is one that is a song done effectively by the members of Kami Band as far as I'm aware. Now I, I must admit I'm not familiar with the members. I've never been really checking too much into what they do but there's absolutely no doubt that they are fantastic musicians. Now... <coughs> I know, obviously, as many people do, tragically, I think it was two years ago now, uh, they tragically lost their guitarist. And looking at the thumbnail that's come up, because this is not a music video, this is just a, a, the, the audio and you get a thumbnail with it. Um, I believe the lady in the video, uh, in the picture, is the video who passed away. So, you know, obviously that's a very tragic side of it. So um, I don't know, obviously, uh, who specifically plays what in this band, but I'm imagining she's the guitarist. And I'm imagining that it's only three of them. It's bass, drums, and guitar. We'll find out. But I'm interested to see this now again i'm going to assume this isn't a, a fully instrumental song uh, as instrumental is what they were known for uh with baby metal but then again that's not exactly a guarantee there's a lot of bands who play as backing bands who actually in their own right have vocals as well i have basically no idea what to expect again i assume it's going to be metal it might not be metal um one thing I'll warn you about me is obviously we give the objective and subjective opinions if you're new to this channel then just to let you know um I am someone who I like all styles of music, but when it comes to that sort of a metal style of music, I am not a big fan of twiddle, and this is where it's going to be an interesting one. I, you know, if people twiddle too much on guitar, it can get boring for me. I, you know, there's so many talented guitarists out there that for me, the interesting thing is, can you write something really interesting? Can you deliver a guitar solo that sticks in your head, or the one that really engages emotionally with what you're listening to? And that's kind of what I'm interested to hear here. If it is going to be an instrumental piece, or if it is going to be very reliant on instrumental, as I assume it's going to be, then I'm really interested to see how they use those skills to develop, you know, sort of paint a picture with the music. Now, I don't know, like I say, anything more, so it's not much too much point, shall we say, in me waffling before we get into this. I'm going to have a little listen, see what we think. It's only three and a half minutes, which is much shorter than the music of their peers. And uh, so that's good. I, I like good, short, concise, to the point songs. Let's see what we think, and then we'll have a more of a chat afterwards. Here we go. So this is, um, I believe they're playing under the name Kami Band. That's what it says on the video, although... Um, I don't, that's not what it says on the image, but anyway, it's um apparently the song's called Ninja Groove, so let's check that out. All right, all right, we got a lot to unpack on this one. Now, I'm I'd be the first person to admit that I can I, I can say yes, not everything about that was a hundred percent maybe to my taste but i am really really overjoyed about what i heard there um that was so much better than i was worried it was going to be I, I must admit i have seen them do some of their um big solo intros for um baby metal songs before and i think that a lot of the time the feeling you get from that is that maybe they're playing more to a stereotype or more to the general appeal of what people want from metal because they're on such a big stage so as a result you tend to get I, yeah, like i said i'm not a big fan of the um solo bits they do in those baby metal shows you know the bits where they come up before and then do like a three minute solo it's all very impressive but it's not particularly engaging and it feels a bit to me like time passing before the song starts and the actual um you know the actual written and uh, orchestrated song begins this however is very different this is much more impressive to me um than I, like i say i'm not comparing this to baby metal i'm comparing it to the intros they do for baby metal on the live shows that i've heard a couple of with you guys um this to me works a lot better um, because there is a sense here that, you know, um, everything they're doing, even the flashiest bits, really feels like it's concise, it's written, it goes into a perfect place. I mean, that bass line, that hectic, hectic bass line in what I guess we could call the verse, wait a second, <coughs> we edit nothing, <coughs> thank you. Um, that bass line is really, really fast, really, really all over the place. Um, you could argue that it's too flashy, more flashy than it needs to be, but I do think it works because something about, um, it's so stabby. It does that quick bit, stops, stops. It's over so fast that you don't have time to hear it as like being this twiddly solo. Um, and yet the speed of it means that while it is there, it 
kind of injects a bit of a kinetic nature into things. The first like verse section of the song, if you imagine that being removed, could just sound a little bit airy and dull. But because, like I said in the actual song, because the bass is doing that, it means that the guitar and the drums can settle back and they can set into a different mood and it gives them more room to do something a little bit more airy, but engaging and atmospheric. It becomes atmospheric because you're not allowed to get bored. The bass bit doesn't let you get bored, but it also is so start and stop that it doesn't pull your attention away from what's actually going on. So that was an example of, you know, this intelligent style of writing. Um, you had the bits where it gets loud, you know, the bits where it shuffles down and gets a bit quieter. Just everything it went through, it seemed to really have a direction. The bass and guitar sometimes were working perfectly together. Sometimes they were juxtaposing to give like a, a nice contrast. There was just so many interesting layers to this song, which was a song with only guitar, bass and drums. Yet, yeah, by the way, before you say it, I know the guitar was, most of the song the guitar was double layered. So there was actually two guitar performances in there, but they were pretty much just playing the same thing. That was just to bolster up the sound, the thickness of the guitar sound. Um, I yeah, like I said, I think that this was something that they could easily play as a, a free piece, basically, and it was really engaging. The drum beat was brilliant. I loved how it was kind of off kilter, but it, it kept on driving along. The way the, the the snare would drop out and then come back in with impact when it needed to accent things. There was just a lot of musical intelligence in this, and I know it's very patronising for someone such as I who is more experienced with the writing and the studio side. So it's not that I'm not a musician. It's just like I play a lot of instruments too. A, a decent level i'm kind of like a jack of all trades master of none when it comes to actually playing um so it's a bit it, maybe it's a bit rich for me to get too much into talking about musicianship um but like i say all of these arts whether it be writing production or musicianship they only really have any value in the final product does it result in something interesting because you know sorry something good to listen to something enjoyable because you know i mean music to me is not about setting records it's not about you know fastest notes played it's like yeah you know, I, I i just want to say is this the most enjoyable song for me and for me this is a really enjoyable instrumental it's got great bits it's um i like that little breakdown just before the end where it went really airy and they went for those sort of like little you know, little percussive sounds like something comes in here comes in there you get like a little bit of a sort of uh a, a, a weird quiet bit and then it builds up and punches back in there was just like i say, there was a lot of intelligent choices in here that took a free piece and elevated it to something really engaging where your ears were never bored now yeah i have to say that um and take this next bit as a compliment before i say it this is not naturally the style of music that is i listen to all styles of music this is not a style of music i listen to the most so it's something where perhaps i would really have to be in the right mood to listen to this and if i was in the right mood this would probably be a go-to song because this is one of the best songs of this style i've heard i really like the way it comes together and i like the rawness of the fact that it sounds like they recorded it live for a demo um so much of this was down to the touch of the musicianship especially on the drum kit that i would almost not want to hear this overproduced just a little bit of cleaning up on some studio mics at best um you know but you know this is not my normal go-to style of music so the fact that i enjoyed it that much really you know stands out to me um however as always really interested in what you guys say in the comments so if this is some of the thing you listen to do you regard this as impressive is there songs you like more we well, are going to check out more by these guys um as a contrast to you know their work with baby metal a bit more of that cami band stuff is this all of cami band i never really like i say I, I know of them and i kind of pay attention roughly to what they do stylistically but i've never really sort of counted the members or anything so tell me is this all of the members members um tell me a little bit more if you want to um i just like i say i thought this was much better than i was kind of worried it was going to be and i enjoyed it greatly so thank you so much for suggesting it guys and looking forward to seeing you and the comments soon i certainly read them all even if i don't get a chance to reply to them all but you know that i'm always looking forward to that and if you want to give more suggestions that remember do that using the reddit link suggested thing in the thread link description below click on it then there's the reddit and the link and you go to the link and then there's the reddit and there's the suggestion thread and you can do it there that's the way I'll see your suggestions. But for now, from Japan, thank you so much for tuning in. You have a lovely day. Until we see you soon, ciao, ciao. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out more of our hundreds of videos we've got online on this channel right now, or get involved in the discussion with us at the many social media links we've got in the description below, where you can suggest new videos and artists for us to check out on the channel. Or you can just do the usual YouTube stuff and you know, comment, like, subscribe. You know how this works by now.